Hey, what's up? I'm Kyle and I'm going to be reviewing the course Blog Growth Engine by Adam Enfroy. Um, Adam's got a great program going on here. He is um, a pro at creating a blog that generates passive income for you. Um, I'm a big fan of these strategies versus uh, things like, you know, FBA or drop shipping or crypto because those things require constant everyday work at least with blogging and building a like a, a blog with affiliate links and, and advertisements you're building something that is eventually going to be an asset like a home that sits there and collects income passively over the long term now that's something I could work for you know um, I highly recommend people getting into blogging as, as a business model. I, this is not how I make the majority of my income. I make my income with a business model that's similar, but I rent websites to business owners. I could explain how that works in just a minute, but I'll talk a little bit more about this. But there are obviously a lot of courses out there um, that talk I teach the blogging business model, right? Um, because there's lots of different factors to it. There's different ways to generate revenue from it. And there's different ways to produce content with it, whether you're going to hire writers or you're going to do it yourself or use AI, right? When you're picking a course, there are really a few factors that I always recommend to people um, because I've taken so many courses in the past that I've learned a few things. Number one, Whichever course you go with to learn about blogging, whether it's Adam Enfroy or somebody else, you want to make sure you watch the course creators, YouTube videos, Instagrams, TikToks, all that stuff before you pick who you're going to go with. Because it's very important to be able to understand your course creator, as in like you, you want to make sure they have a teaching style that vibes with you. Because if they have a teaching style that you're just like slogging through their videos and you can't stand what they're saying, um, you're going to have a tough time getting through 20 hours of their course material. Most of these course creators are teaching the same strategies or similar strategies and it's going to be way more effective for you if you're learning from an instructor that conveys his message very clearly and you could comprehend what they're saying and you're actually going to learn something. The other thing I always tell people is make sure that the course you sign up for has some sort of community that brings all the students and um, veterans together, right? Be, whether it's Discord or Facebook or whatever it is, you want to be able to ha get your questions along the way answered quickly. And if you reach out to the course creator, they're probably not going to be available to answer your questions quickly. So you want to be able to post in the Discord or the Facebook and get your questions answered quickly by other members and other like you know experienced vets in the space, right? It's also a great way to network with other people who are doing what you're doing because you could form partnerships and partnerships. I'm all about partnerships and splitting up the labor um, with a partner. I'm, I'd rather have 50% of something big than 100% of something small. Um, so that's that. But I'll talk a little bit about my business model real, model real quick. Uh, I think it's the best business model out there um, because obviously I'm a little biased because I make a ton of money with it. But the way my business model works is I rent websites to business owners. The best way to explain it is, is if I give you an example. So... If I build, there's no rules against building a website for a service in a city, even if you don't actually own a business that offers that service in that city. I could build a website for junk removal services in Knoxville, right? There's nothing stopping me. So I do. I build a website called junkremovalknoxville.com and build out one to five pages of content or maybe 10 pages of content and do SEO just like you would on a blog, right? Um, once that website gets ranking, there's a little phone number on my website um, that whenever people s type into Google uh, junk removal services in Knoxville, they see my website on page one, see the phone number, start calling it. And when they start calling it, I have this little, that, that, that number that's on there is a tracking phone number and I can control where that phone number leads to. So at first it's going to my voicemail, right? And while the calls are going to my voicemail, I'm calling up an actual junk removal company and saying, hey, I got this website. Uh, it's getting a, like 100 phone calls a month for junk removal jobs. And I'm looking for a business owner that might be interested in trying them out for a week and seeing if it's something that works for you. So if they're willing to give the trial a shot, I hook them up for seven days. After seven days, I call them up and I'm like, hey, 
Uh, were you able to close any jobs this week? And if they were, they're usually wanting to keep this going long term because why wouldn't they? So we work at a deal, maybe like $1,000 flat a month, maybe $2,000 a flat a month, depending on the niche. And um, after that, I take the credit card information and the website's sending them calls. It sits there, generates leads, and it's just forwarding calls to them on autopilot. Um, for years and years to come, I still have my first client from five years ago, and uh, it, that's when it becomes passive. But I put in the upfront work of the one to two to three months to get the site ranking and get the phone calls generated, and now I have passive income from that site, a little piece of internet real estate where a business owner pays me for all the calls that come from my website. I'm like a micro Yelp in a way. Um, but I know that wasn't the best explanation, but if you want to see a more detailed explanation, there's a link in my bio to a page that with videos and content that breaks down how the whole business model works. And also, um, you could, I left my email in the description. You can shoot me an email with any questions you have about my model or anything else. Um, but yeah, I think building assets online like a blog or whether it's a small business website or large national websites, anything that generates leads or affiliate link uh, income, it's worth your time to put in that upfront effort because long term you're going to thank yourself because all of a sudden you're going to have checks coming in while you sleep. So um, this has been a review of uh, blogging gro blog growth engine by Adam Enfroy. And um, yeah, don't forget to email me. Good luck on your making money online journey.